What's up, fellow geeks? Today we have the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, which is Xiaomi's newest flagship phone. We'll be putting it through the gauntlet of Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile, COD Mobile, and Honkai Star Rail to see if this phone can perform under pressure. Performance-wise for the Xiaomi 13 Ultra that we are using has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, a Adreno 740 for its GPU, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, and everything plays out on a 120Hz LTPO AMOLED 6.73 inch screen with a 5000 mAh battery. Before we run the test, let's do a baseline of the temperatures on the front and the back. We'll start the back first. Get our little trusty temperature gun here. And let's check the back. And you know, it's sitting very nicely at 25.2 degrees. And around the camera here as well, 24. It's much colder here because it's glass. But I have to say that it is a very nice leathery texture at the back. I mean, it basically just is leather at the back here. So yeah, the camera module is huge. But other than that, I think this would be great to help out with the grip of the phone. This might get in the way later on, but we will find out. So the front, let's check it out. And 25.8 in the front and 26.3, 27.6. All right, things are looking pretty much okay. So let's get into our first game, Honkai Star Rail. Okay, before we start playing Honkai Star Rail, we want to test out performance. So let's use game turbo mode. And I have set everything to the highest quality performance mode down here. Let's see for Call of Duty, this will go up. This is a Snapdragon slash Adreno screen down here and everything set on high quality to ensure that we are pushing the phone to its limits. And let's see, Honkai Star Rail. All right, so now that we're here, uh, actually I have to say the speakers are pretty good on this thing. Yeah, I'll put, oh, a little bit of frame starting there already. Now that we're in the hub. Just a little bit. But yeah, let's just check out our graphic settings real quick. And here we go, we're on 30, let's raise up to 60. Put everything on very high, I believe, yes. Very high, 60 FPS, 60 FPS, all right. And then everything else is on high, NTA listings on TAA, okay, that's fine. And yeah, let's just restart the game and come back. So I have restarted the game and we are playing this with everything turned on on performance mode and so far, it's actually okay compared to what I just saw before I restarted the phone. It was stuttering a little bit, but let's just check out how it looks like. And this screen is really doing it for me, actually. He looks really good. Look at the textures on his pauldron right there. Yeah, it's making Jingyuan look really f***ing sick. The character models look really good, so let's just jump to Hertha's office. Okay, so now that we're in Hertha's office, we'll be playing some simulated universe. And over here, let's just attack. Start laying down the hood. So yeah, it stutters a little bit, as you can see, just a little bit. And let's just whack. All right, nothing much. That's great. Let's do a little bit of this. And then, in the AOE. Very nice. Two down. One down. Sorry. Okay, so ultimate and everything. Let's go with an ultimate and see how that plays out. Okay, nice. Sick. Actually, it's actually handling it pretty well with performance mode. Alright, do that. So, yeah, all the effects and all of the animations are working out pretty well. Let's just go with Seal's animation real quick. Oh, nice. So, so far, no frame stuttering, nothing. Gameplay is smooth and even with the ultimates that we've used, I mean, just the one so far, it's shaping out to be pretty solid so far. And also, it's, I think it's a bit dark for you all, so I'm gonna increase the brightness real quick, just a little bit. All right. Okay, I think this is a lot better. So, let's continue. I don't think you guys will have much of an issue when it comes to combat with Honkai Star Rail. But it's looking pretty good, but let's, um... Okay, I'm not gonna waste an ulti on this. Let's use an ulti on the next encounter. Alright, weakness again. We're gonna be steamrolling through all these enemies. Let's do this. A oh, little bug here. But, still looks cool. Oh yeah, look at those numbers. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Alright, nice. Let's go AoE. 
in the ear we oh you got it okay that's gg before we fight the elite i think that the xiaomi 13 ultimate is doing pretty well we've been through a couple battles by now so let's actually just check the temperatures real quick let me just get a little gun out we are at 36.8 degrees in the front 34.7 ish so it's actually doing pretty all right 37 ish here See, okay all right let's check the back with this leather back here it is heating up a little bit on the sides so let's check the leather bag, 28.35. Let's check the camera module. That is also on the 35.8, that's not too bad. But the sides here. Oh, it's the same story. All right, it's not too bad. Okay, yeah, so this is actually handling heat pretty well. But you know, we haven't tried Genshin yet, so yeah. Honkai is good enough actually for me. But I know a couple of you wanna see how Genshin will run like when it comes to this. So let's just keep going. Okay, let's just hit him with an ulti. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that didn't do much. Alright, let's get that in. Alright, here you go. Let's go. Here you go. Nice damage reduction. Oh, okay, she's gonna. Oh my god, she's gonna die. Okay, let's hit you. Yep. She's down. It's not fun. Man, oh my god, that pig. Christ. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so I think this might be the first time I get a, I have a squad wipe. Oh, I, I think I can actually make it. Okay, I thought wrong, Never mind. We're down. <laughs> okay, so with that, we're gonna be ending this run of Honkai Star Rail. This is bad, this is my first time ever getting a squad wipe. So let's just do a final temperature check. We are at 38.6 in the front. Not too bad actually, because honestly, it doesn't feel that warm. And let's check the back with this leather back here. It's a bit warm right now. And 36.4, handling it pretty well on the camera module. We're looking at 36.8 and on the sides, uh, about the same. So yeah, what I think about Honkai Star on this thing so far, I mean, besides the terrible team selection and everything, it's actually doing pretty well on the performance mode again. We were at 100%, now we're down to 94%. And that's after like 20 minutes of play. So we're actually doing pretty all right with the Xiaomi R13 Ultra so far. And with this, you know, there was very minimal stuttering here and there. I'm in between scenes, sure. But it's not too bad. It's doing pretty much okay. Snapdragon 8, Gen 2, and the Adreno 740 are holding up pretty well with the performance mode, mind you. So let's move on to the next game, Genshin Impact. Okay, so we are hot off the heels of Honkai Star Rail. Let's actually check out the temperatures on the phone before we hop into Genshin. And 36.8, 37. It has gone down pretty quick so far. I mean, it was like 38 in a bit before this. I literally just started recording again. Let's check the back. It's like 36.4, 35.6 right now. That's not too bad. 36 on here on the camera module. And we are doing A-OK, -okay actually. So, let's just play. Genshin Impact, as long as soon as we can get out of the screen. All right. All right, so with that, let's just play Genshin Impact. All right, so now that we're in Genshin, uh, let's check settings real quick, as we do. And graphics. Okay, so on high and everything, 60 FPS, everything is turned on. So 
looking good I believe I hope so so let's do oh yeah oh gosh okay you see that you spin the camera a bit too much it lags all a bit yeah that's man all right that looks check that look out before we get to Inazuma and yeah he's looking really good and spiffy hands a man and yeah models look great let's do a quick change to Ayaka all right a little bit of frame something in there but she's looking great as well okay let's head over to Inazuma okay so now they're in Inazuma you know it's looking pretty good but compared to Honkai Star Rail this is yeah okay but to, to be fair it's an open world and to be fair in Honkai Star Rail we didn't really go about walking pretty much everywhere and also the open world isn't as vast as Genshin Impact so things to take note of and yeah but it looks it's a really good looking game on this phone I really love the screen again the camera module is getting in the way a little bit but with that I think we should be fine. Oh, okay. I think with that we should be fine. Let's actually just go back to that look and let's start running through. Let's start frolicking through an Azuma. Oh, as you can see. Oh, yep. Okay, so it's not handling pretty well. That thing just rendered in. If you saw it. Oh, they just rendered in as well. Classy. Alright. So as you can see, it's not performing as expected, even with performance on high quality through the Adreno slash Snapdragon app window that we saw in the game center but yeah huh it's a bit spotty okay so now that i see the situation a little bit with this phone let's do a bit of exploring the open world and maybe some combat so now that we're here this looks really pretty on the ltpo amulet screen oh my gosh look at that and again the speakers are really doing it for me so let's just do a side quest real quick i believe it's right below us and trying to get down here Impregnable defense, and then let's try to land right on top. Yee! Nice. All right, let's play some defense. Let's just ulti this real quick. Nice. Okay, so okay, I've seen worse before. I've seen phones handle this a lot worse than this so far. Than the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. So far, it's actually doing okay. I think. Alright, let's change it up. Doing pretty alright so far. Alright, ta-ta! Okay, and yeah, that's it. So, for some reason, okay, in a confined area like this, the Xiaomi 13 Pro actually handles it pretty well. Okay, so with combat and exploration so far, it's actually looking pretty much okay. Just that, you know, the frame start to and the lag is very spotty. It isn't like the best. So just keep that in mind. But while we are here, I would say that the draw distance, again, it's looking pretty good. And the speakers on the phone are is really great. And while I was in the combat scenario just now, the camera module on the back does get in the way. And it makes it a bit uncomfortable to play over long periods of time. So just keep that in mind. And with that, let's move on to the Spiral Abyss. So notes before we start, uh, confined area, a large number of mobs, more than usual. So just keep that in mind. Vaporize all of them. Should be doing fine. Come on. All right. So far doing okay. I mean, it's actually the gameplay is pretty smooth so far in the Spiral Abyss. So, come on. There we go. The response times and everything on the phone. Okay, I mean, everything's registering as I intend them to register. So, everything's doing pretty okay. Ulti real quick. Very nice. Let's move on. Let's switch up and use another ulti. Okay, I got screwed. Wait a minute. Can we real quick? Push the bubble real quick and yeah that's done. I didn't do any temperature checks midway because you know honestly I've not really felt much of a difference from when I was playing Honkai Star Rail. It's still quite comfortable to hold in hand. Nothing is like burning up or anything. So thermal management of this thing seems to be pretty alright but let's just confirm that by checking it with our temperature gun. And 37. Wow. That's actually lower than, than Honkai Impact. Wow okay. Hon Honkai Impact sorry. Honkai Star Rail. Wow okay. This is... Wow, okay, these are actually the, some of the lowest numbers I've seen for Genshin. 
Let's check the leather back. 35, wow. Okay, camera module, 35.9. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so it's handling heat pretty well on performance mode with everything turned on high. So, ah, that is interesting. Okay, okay, Xiaomi, okay. So with that, let's move on to Call of Duty Mobile. Before we get into the next game, this channel is supported by brands who help us improve our content and keep us going. So stay around for this sponsored message. Meet the Cyborg 15 gaming laptop from MSI. Check out its translucent material design that not only looks good but feels good thanks to its ultra lightweight chassis at only 1.98 kilograms. Give yourself the upper edge in gaming with its blazing fast performance powered by the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7H series processor and Nvidia RTX 4000 series GPUs. And stay immersed with its Nahibic twin speaker sound system that provides an auditory feast like no other. For more details, check out msi.com. Okay, so we're hot off Genshin Impact. Let's check for temperatures real quick. And you're at 32-ish. All right, this is cooling down pretty fast. All right, 32, 32. This is doing pretty all right. And the back, camera module, 32 and 33. Yeah, it's looking pretty all right so far. It's cooled down quite a bit in a short span of time. And also just one thing about the camera module, I think this will give me a bit of a headache once we start this test. So with that, let's move on to Call of Duty Mobile. Once I can get out the screen again, okay. Touching and touch sensitivity and everything isn't the best on this phone. I think, yep, as you can see, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best, it's over here. This thing right here, it's like way too high. I don't know if you can see it, but this is way too high. Look at that. Okay, if I just, you know what, let me just do this. There we go. All right, so with that, let's play some Call of Duty Mobile. So now that we've entered Call of Duty Mobile, the major looks really good, especially all these lighting effects. Look at how the light bounces off her hair and off her skin suit down here. So it's looking really good. Ooh, look at the shine on my EK. That looks really good. Okay, so with that, let's check out settings real quick. All right, auto and graphics, and we're set to very high for graphic quality, frame rates on max and multiplayer, everything is turned on. So with that, let's just get into a game of Call of Duty. Okay, so, so far everything's looking pretty good. My sights look amazing. So let's see how it plays out. Again, the camera module is getting in the way of things. So it is a bit uncomfortable to play with right now. It's a bit awkward actually. Oh, oh come on. Christ, okay. Oh boy. Oh man, okay, this is bad. Okay, hello, hello. Oh my god, that was bad. Okay, you know what? Can we do SMG? Let's just go with something safe, like my AK over here. But also, you know, you gotta keep in mind that I am playing this through the monitor on my camera, so it is a bit difficult. But other than that, you know, okay. Very nice. Also, my layout's a bit wonky, but never mind. Oh, pian. Oh man, come on. Yeah. So, man, okay. So this camera module is getting in the way of my gameplay. That I'll say, it's quite a big distraction. So unless you get a case, especially for FPS players, you know, because timing and reactions and everything is are basically everything we need. That's our bread and butter. And how comfortable we are while holding the console is very important as well. This is not really doing it for me. There really isn't much to say in terms of ergonomics, so... Yeah, I mean, this isn't a gaming phone, like many I have reviewed so far. So, yeah, you gotta cut some slack. There we go. Alright, that is a comeback if I've ever saw one. Very nice, okay. So, my thoughts so far on this phone when it comes to FPS is okay. So, you know, major player, man, you gotta... <sighs> it's this thing, this thing right here will get in your way. It's a beautiful camera. I'm pretty sure it takes amazing pictures as well, but man, it, look at this. It gets in the way when you're doing this. I mean, like, sure, you, you can kind of justify it as a grip of sorts, but unless you get a case that accentuates this thing, this thing will get in the way of your gameplay. And if you're playing for long periods of time, or even like a PUBG later, which I know for a fact I'll be feeling that in a bit, it will get on my nose. It really will get on my nose. You know, if you want to play any other game, you want to play like Candy Crush or something, it's fine. This is great for that. But other than that, 
man you might want to think twice if you want to get this phone for gaming i feel just especially if you're an fps gamer for mobile gaming because this thing will get in the way i mean a case solves everything right but if you can't find a case that matches up with the way you play that will be an issue for you so that's one thing that i foresee and i've been complaining about for the last few minutes okay so with that let's check out temperatures real quick and here we go 35 34 33 yeah it's doing pretty well and the back 34 ish yeah it's doing pretty well compared to obviously genshin or honkai but it's doing a lot better than Honkai, that's for sure. So, yeah, this is actually shaping out to be pretty all right. Heat thermal management on this thing is amazing so far. Performance with games like PUBG, no, performance with games like Call of Duty are doing pretty well so far. Yeah, performance with PUBG, yeah, performance with a game like Call of Duty Mobile is doing pretty well so far. I mean, it's, it's, no, it's no Honkai Impact, it's no Genshin Impact, yeah. it's no Honkai Star Rail, it's no Genshin Impact, but it is handling these games pretty well. So, with this, Let's move on to our final game, PUBG Mobile. Okay, so before we get into PUBG Mobile proper, let's check temperatures real quick. We are just off Call of Duty Mobile. And 32, 33, doing okay, I believe. It's all right. All right, and the back, we are at 32, 32.5, and the camera launch is about 32.3. So it's doing pretty all right. It's just that this thing will get in the way again, but we'll see how it feels like when we play a match. So, let's do that. Okay, so now that we're in PUBG, let's check settings real quick. And graphics and audio, we're at 90 FPS, graphics smooth, because that's what you guys want. Two times aliasing and everything is set, so let's jump into a game. Alright, so now that we are in the lobby, things are looking pretty alright so far. The sun is hitting off a leather jacket very nicely, shadows are working pretty much fine. And yeah, 90 FPS is a whole experience, at least the option is there now. So before we get into the match, I have to say the camera module will get in the way. And the speakers are on the sides here and here, and you will tend to cover them while you're playing. So, you know, have some Bluetooth headphones or earphones and... Try not to get irritated by the camera module. Again, this isn't a gaming phone, it's a camera phone. It's a camera camera phone, to be exact. So, let's just see where we land. And so far, everything is looking pretty good. Right at distance, the C130 is looking pretty great. And 90 FPS, we're looking to have a lot of fun. And where is everyone dropping right now? I have no idea. Am I the, am I the jump master? I am the jump master. Great. Right. So far we are doing a okay. We are moving down. I'm going the wrong direction. 90 FPS looks crazy on this thing, as you can see. I mean you guys can only see 60 FPS on the screen. But other than that, it's looking to be pretty much fine. So let's go hit the shooting range. I have no idea where everyone else is at. But yes. And let's just hit all the way down and stop picking up loot. And we are all there. Okay, cool. We're here. Nice. All right, let's just pick up everything. Pick up. I mean, there should be some rifles by the range over there. So let's just keep moving. But so far, it's looking pretty good. I mean, at 90 FPS and smooth graphics and everything, this is turning out to be pretty much fine. I mean, we are playing with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the Geno 740. It's doing pretty much okay for a game like PUBG. Other games, maybe not so much, but PUBG runs very smooth with this. So, let's just keep looting around and finding for stuff. Hopefully I can get a 5.56 rifle somewhere. 300 rounds of ammunition, that should be enough. Oh, lots of firing. Where are you at? Okay, he's behind. Alright, you down. Alright, so gunfight, gunfight, gunfight. I'm getting shot from the back. Okay, there's a guy behind me. Hold on. Watch it. Okay, and they're all down. Nice. No, you stay away. The camera module does get in the way a little bit, if not a lot. I don't know how the rest of you will take it, but 
Just letting you know, it's there. Another squad behind what? Let's get a new helmet. Oh, nice. Okay. Where you at? Somewhere here. Okay, they're firing at us. I'm not sure where they are. Oh, there you are. Nice. Okay, we're doing pretty okay so far. Doing pretty well actually. Oh, oh, let's just get the honey badger. I really want that. So, so far, even with those two gunfights, I believe, the phone handles it pretty well. You have enough space to move your hands around. I mean, that's like 6.73 inches of screen down here for you to navigate your hands around. I have huge hands, so this helps out a lot. All right, let's just keep running towards the marker real quick. All right, so into the circle we go. But before that, 35, 34, 36. Oh, that's, that's a lot higher than Call of Duty or about the same if I remember right, but we are doing A-OK -okay right here. Let's check the back real quick. 34, OK, and the camera module is about 35, the green difference, and the sides aren't doing too hot, to be honest. They're doing OK. Oh, oh, do I fight? Oh, 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 oh. Oh boy, that was bad. But yeah, um, huge gunfight right now. Oh boy. There's a guy in front of me. Somewhere. Oh, this area is hot right now. Let's heal up real quick. Man, all I wanted to do was just test temperatures and we got like, what, three squads on us? That's not fun. Oh. Okay, let's move. Push up. Pushing up and I think we will hit our first guy. Okay, right here. He's down. There should be some people up there. It's fine from here. Get knocked. Get f***ed. We're down to our last two medkits. But honestly, we're doing pretty much okay. Yeah, lots of firing, lots of fighting happening. How many have I killed so far? I think I've killed seven people. But yes, let's just do our temperature checks while we can. While there's still peace. So, uh, 36. Oh, it has risen up a bit. I mean, we've been in an intense gunfight. And... 36 ish in the front and the back. 35, 35, 34. And because it's around like 35 here, I'm guessing it's like 36 here. 35, close to 36 on the camera module. So, yeah, it's actually doing pretty all right. It's, heat, it's not really heating up a lot per se. So, we're doing pretty much okay on this front. And I'd say in this playthrough of PUBG so far, like, you know, this game runs hella smooth. But it's just, the camera module gets in the way. The speakers are on the side, you're covering everything up. And those are my main gripes with this phone. But other than that, it works fine. It plays fine. It plays great on some games. So with that, let's just move on to our final thoughts. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra works well, but only with certain games. Honkai Star Rail at 30 FPS showed some cracks at the start before we switched over to 60 FPS, before it started to perform relatively smooth, with a couple of hiccups between transitioning from the open world to battle modes. The ultimates from each character played out extremely well and beautifully on its display. However, Genshin Impact was where it really started to struggle, with basic camera movements showing drastic frame rate drops and stuttering. In an area with a bigger population of NPCs, you can see them rendering in. However, it plays very well in a confined area like the Spiral Abyss. 
Games like Call of Duty and PUBG Mobile have no issues at all and play out extremely smooth, but the phone is a bit of a letdown thanks to its camera module at the back, making it sometimes awkward and uncomfortable when placing your hands around the phone, and also covering up the speakers on the sides. So if you want positional intel such as footstep directions, you're gonna need to use wireless earbuds or headphones. However, the speakers are fantastic to listen to and thermal management on this phone is surprisingly good, if not better than a lot of gaming-oriented phones that prize their cooling systems. Lastly, touch registration isn't at its best, but I think an update will be able to calibrate that. All in all, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra works great for certain games, but you're gonna need to get used to having this camera module at the back in the way of your grip, which I think can be remedied by having a phone casing to level out the back of the phone. That's it for this video. Follow us on all of our socials shown in the bar right here to keep up with all the stuff we have. And if you like what you're watching, maybe hit the subscribe and like buttons. It goes a long way in helping out the channel. If you wanna see more stuff, check this out.